None of us like to feel alone in our struggles, right? But why does some support feel more genuine? Let's break down the difference between pity and empathy. Pity is when you feel sorry for someone's misfortune. It's like observing a sad story from a distance. You recognize they're having a tough time, but you stay emotionally detached. Think I feel sorry for him because he lost his job. Now empathy is a whole different ball game. Empathy means connecting with someone's emotions on a deeper level. You step into their shoes, feeling what they feel. Picture saying, I can imagine how hard it must be for him to lose his job and feel uncertain about the future. See the difference? Pity keeps you at arm's length, while empathy pulls you in close. Next time someone's hurting, ask yourself, are you feeling sorry for them or are you truly understanding their feelings? That's the power of empathy. Why are there not more people talking about empathy? Uh, it could change everything. Empathy, it's more than just a buzzword. It's the secret source to meaningful connections. Let's break it down. People with empathy are like superheroes. They're compassionate, always ready to lend a hand or a listening ear. Good communicators, they understand your vibes without you having to spell it out. They're relatable, making you feel seen and heard and non-judgmental, they embrace you, flaws and all. Patient, they give you the time you need. And they're supportive, your personal cheerleaders in life's marathon. Plus, they're fantastic listeners. Now let's flip the coin. Lack empathy? Here's what that looks like. Insensitive, missing the mark on feelings. Self-centered, often oblivious to others. Poor communicators, leading to endless misunderstandings. Judgmental, quick to criticize. Impatient, with zero tolerance for others' struggles. Unsupportive and unresponsive, leaving people feeling isolated. Empathy isn't just nice to have, it's essential. It's the glue that holds relationships together, making our world a kinder, more understanding place. So let's spread some empathy today. You need to hear this if you're on a self-improvement journey. Empathy beats pity, and here's why. First, empathy creates genuine connections. It's about truly understanding and sharing feelings, not just feeling sorry. This builds respect and trust. Next, empathy empowers. When you empathize, you listen and validate, sparking positive action and self-belief in others. It's like handing them the keys to their own strength. Empathy also promotes mutual growth. Both sides gain new perspectives and feel valued. It's a win-win situation. Effective communication, empathy enhances it. By actively listening, you understand better and avoid misunderstandings. And in conflicts, empathy is golden. Understanding each other's emotions helps resolve issues faster and more peacefully. Develop empathy through self-awareness, active listening, and exposing yourself to diverse perspectives. Mindfulness can help too. Remember, empathy is a skill we can all cultivate. So choose empathy over pity and watch your connections flourish.